Greetings to Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of an Elusive Age. Last we left off, we were doing a race for a certain spoiled as prince named Ferris. Is it is it nighttime or is it daytime? Oh, that's straight nighttime. Let me guess, I can't even go into the Sultan's Palace unless it's daytime. Let's check. Let's check. Can I go into the Sultan's Palace? The King of Swing. The Sultan of Soul. Ah, okay. So yeah, no, we gotta do this at daytime. Alright, come on. Come on. Let's get going. By the way, just giving a heads up to those who don't really know it, uh, Serena's wearing the dancer's costume, which is very, very revealing. It wasn't my intent to make her, like, a perverted, enjoyable view. I just... It was a good piece of gear. I just didn't expect it to be that revealing. The last dancer's costume I've seen was in Dragon Quest Eight or Dragon Quest Nine. It was nowhere near that like sensual looking. Sorry, I had to take a sip of my drink real quick. Anyways, our trade off was that I helped this little chicken shit prince, um, like win his win the race in his name. Then he'll give me like the the branch of Egrasso, form, you know, as formerly called the Rainbow. Pep ups petering out. Remember, if your party has pepped up, keep a keen eye on the picture. Blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> Whatever it starts flashing, it'll run out too. What do you want? It's in the throne room. I believe proceed directly up the stairs. Do 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 do. I love this music, man. So real. Truly, I am humble. All I have ever desired is to fulfill my duties as a prince and as a knight. You're a shitty knight, because knights normally train in horseback riding, and you don't even know how to sit on a fucking horse. No, it's just his fucking ass owes me. Thank you, father. <laughs> the truth of the matter is that my friends here have come to Galopolis in search Your Majesty. The Interrupted. Beast has returned. It attacked one of our men while we were out on patrol. Let me guess, boss fight. The Slayer of the Sands is back? Yep. Why must the accursed creature always appear on this, the happiest day of the year? We will stand for this no longer. I must dispatch my finest knights and ensure that the fiend never again returns to terrorize the celestial sands. But wait. My boy, the fates are speaking to us. Capturing the Slayer would be the perfect way to show your people what a fine knight you have become. Capture the damn thing? What? What? Yeah, he's a little bit. So many of our bravest men have confronted the creature and perished. Surely, I do not stand a chance. You are a fucking coward. <laughs> Truly, it is the most able who are the most humble. But you cannot hide your true feelings. You are trembling with excitement. <laughs> no, he's a fucking chicken shit. He's a coward. This is your moment, Faris, my boy. Capture the Slayer and take your place in history. Let me guess, I'm gonna have to do this for you too. But, uh, I, I, oh, very, very well, Father. <laughs> Yay! I shall begin my preparations right away. He's about to piss himself. You are a shitty prince. Wait. Meet me in 
my chambers. Like, somebody slap him. Disgust. Please, somebody, like, take their hand and just pop! Backhand the shit out of his ass. Like, seriously, dude, you're royalty. Grow a pair. You know, I'm just like, oh my god, you just, you offend me with the fact that you dare to call yourself royalty. You dare call yourself royalty, you spoiled little chicken shit. Ah, uh, you offend me. You are Spoken pathetic. Like a true desert knight. Seriously, can't you handle this on your own? No! No, such a thing is impossible! I am no knight! I neglected my training! I allowed my vassals to fight all my battles for me! Oh, <laughs> you are a pathetic prince. I think Veronica's getting like some sadistic pleasure at how much of a little pussy this dude is. <sighs> I did not wish to disappoint my parents or my people, so I, I, I found ways of, of seeming to fulfill their expectations without necessarily doing so. You but are a fucking I disgrace. Them, the more their expectations grew, and now finally they expect the impossible. Oh, 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 it's so unfair. You brought this on yourself. Straight up, this is what happens when you take when you create a web of lies. You get tangled in your own fucking webs, and this shit right here is what happens. This right here is what happens when you are a liar. Anybody who's watching this, don't lie. You'll be in this little punk ass's spot. Don't you see? If you refuse to help me, I will be sent to my doom and through no fault of my own. Oh my god, what a little bitch. Ugh, yes, just get up and stop oh, pathetically begging. Oh my god, dude, you are so fucking pathetic. We must make preparations to depart immediately. I will await you at the castle gates. Oh, this guy is pathetic. You are pathetic. You are a shame on the what title of nobility. Pathetic excuse for a prince. Goodness knows what will become of Galopolis with him in charge. I, you know, I honestly for once agree with Veronica here. Oh, we mustn't be so hard on him, Veronica. I'm sure it can't be easy growing up with everyone expecting so much of you. Now that's a fair point, but not. Nah, dude's, dude's just straight pathetic. He's straight fucking pathetic. Pure, plain, and simple. That is a pathetic ass prince. It's like, okay, it's one thing to be like, okay, everybody expects so much of me, and it's another thing to just be like, just him. Have everybody do shit for him. And it's like at that particular point, it's like I'm sorry. The way how I see, you're not nobility unless you're able to just look at it and be like something like man, a slayer of the sands. Bah! I'll just spank that bitch like it's a newborn baby. I'm sorry. I'm one of those kind of guys where it's like you're not nobility unless your balls are bigger than the knights that are right next to you. They run away scared like little chicken shits while you're just standing there with your sword screaming at the top of your lungs like a fucking psychotic barbarian. Fish that stockings, okay. <laughs> wow, I actually had somebody say something about me robbing somebody's stuff. 
not like you're gonna do anything about it. Your prince is gonna owe me everything. Like straight up, this prince is gonna owe me his whole fucking kingdom. So I mean, I'm gonna look at it in that regard. It's like it, everything this prince has, he's gonna owe me. Who are you? Crossbow? Okay. Didn't know they actually had crossbows in Dragon Quest. I'm normally used to just bows, swords, magic, and spears. Alright, let's go talk to punk-ass Prince. This dude is a coward. Yeah, let's get this over with, because this dude is just pathetic. Like, oh my god. I need no disrespect, your highness, but how could you do this to us? You have volunteered us for certain death. Fear not, trusted retainers. We do not journey into the jaws of danger alone. Dude, there's five of you, okay? Do you realize how much shit I can do in video games with just three of you motherfuckers? Ha! Ah, impeccable timing as always. Allow me to introduce our knights in shining armor. These brave adventurers have agreed to capture the Slayer for us. Actually, let's get this correct. Knight in shining armor, thief in stealing clothes, sage in bitchy shortness, and healer in revealing outfit. That's your that's the proper now, accuracy. The beast lair is said to be located deep within the celestial sands. The fastest route is through the checkpoint to the west. We march immediately for Galopolis. For Galopolis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is just <laughs> This is embarrassing. For a little one? Oh, I'd hate to miss a good beast hunt. Huh? Oh, thank you, Silvando. At least you got some balls, dude. Yes, join me in the fight. I need to replace with Veronica anyway. <laughs> There's no such thing as a good beast hunt. Friend. If I were you, I'd run along back to the circus. Something about Silvando, I like him. I like well, Silvando. You're just a lovely, patronizing little deer. Look, I'm worried about the half wit prince getting himself killed. Can I come with you or not? Yeah. Hmm. At least one of you has some sense. Lead on, darling. Ow! <laughs> oh, this dude's gonna make this shit colorful. I'm sorry. I like Silvando. Dude, the dude's got a great sense of humor, and he's just, he's an entertainer. He's gonna make this whole game interesting. And plus, I want to see Veronica try to be a bitch to him, and him be a smarmy in return. Ah, just, finally. Do I have my horse? Okay, okay, I just wanted to take a sweet-ass time. Okay, I'm not strong enough to run him over yet. That's good. Let's get some fights in. Brownies! Wow. Five. Holy shit. Okay, what weapon do you use? Oh, you're a straight-up sword user. Nice. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Ugh. Let me just like get you a good distance away. And bang. Let's check this out. Eh, it's not that much. Great sword guard. Get her a good distance away. Let's see if we can dazzle them. This is 
Zephyrfly. <laughs> Alright, let's use Sizz, because Bang really wasn't that good. I wish I kind of like a buff Sylvan, though. I'm serious, I like him. As far as his personality and how just energetic he makes everything feel. I like Sylvando. Oh, this is going to be painful. Really? Desperate double? Okay, so that's either got a chance of like straight up nuking you or a chance of just like doing absolutely nothing. Um, let's cast Sap on the Brownie Bee. Please don't wake up the other one, Sylvando. Please don't wake up the other one. Oh, you little bastard. Ah, thank you. You didn't wake him up. Soon have that patched up. Really? I didn't mean to try to flee. Uh, heal. Yes. Alright. Uh, let me try zapping all three of them again. Alright. One's down. See if we can kill them before they kill us. Yes. Score one for the good guys. What the hell? What do I have equipped on you? Oh, the fairy stab. Okay. Sorry, I'm just like, what the hell is that? Alright, now here's the thing. I want to try to... I'm going to put it this way. Yes. I want to try to get, kill another one of those golden globes. <laughs> I like Silvando, man. Heavy wands can't make it, can't make it, can't make it, can't make it. Nope. Oh, wait, I can. That's probably going to be sold, but you know what? It's just to get some perfectionist pearls. That's essentially all why I'm doing it. That to get a little bit more money in the game. All right. Got lucky there. 
There, now I can sell that. Because I'm not even aiming to use this for gear. I'm using this for money and perfectionist pearls. That's it. Period. At a statement. Is there anything else I can make? No. No. What about accessories? Gloves? Nope. I need a Doonberry. I need gold ore for that. So, alright. Can I rework anything? All right, well, you know what? The main thing I'm going to be aiming for is reworking that, simply because... Let's see... Evasion chance... Yeah, I mean, his defense goes up by 3, his evasion chance is a permanent plus 4%, and it's a plus t 10 to charm, so, I mean, that's not bad. All right, equipment bag... Feathered cap... Okay, with bunny ears on a bunny suit, I don't have that. I don't have that yet. All right, I don't want any of these. Nobody can really equip these. I might actually. Like, upgrade the silver platter because to hell with it, it's probably a better shield than the scale shield at this point. Um, yeah, I might want to go with the uh, strong medicine. Put that on Veronica simply because I'm probably going to need a little extra bit of help. Uh, let's go until dusk. I want to see if I can get another Golden Glow, because those things end up giving you a lot of experience. Even though know, these bastards are really mean. Let's just use this. It's a permanent 30 damage per turn. Well, not permanent, but it's a lot of damage per turn. It's gonna make this game, this fight, a hell of a lot easier. Yeah, 48 damage. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Burn them all. Focus on healing. Yep. Boom. Fight done just like that. We did it, darlings. I'm sorry, I just... I love Savando's just voice actor. That dude did a fantastic job. How about we get you a good distance away? I don't know if it helps, but it makes me feel better. Get a good triangle effect here. Try Sizz, see if it does more. No, it really doesn't. Still kind of sucks. Get a good, good distance back. See, multi heal would be fantastic as far as like a healing spell for Serena. Which one's the one that's. Okay, it's this one. There we go, I got him asleep. I know we gotta continue the story, but I wanna level grind a little bit. Yeah, let's see. How close are you to getting this? You're not even halfway there fully. The only other one I want to go with is that, simply because this, that, 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 and that. But the only other thing though that I want to try, I'm going to walk y'all through this. Take this. 
dual wielding, okay? Allows the weapon to be equipped in the right hand as well as the left. It doesn't necessarily say knives only. That's the thing, okay? So I'm wondering, can I get away with having a knife in one hand and then getting, you know, having a sword in the other? So that way I can have, you know, like, this ability, this ability, this with this, this, and this eventually, and then eventually get that, 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 and that. Just all of these. And he could just have them both available at the same fucking time. Like, the dude's wielding a knife in his left hand, and he's slicing motherfuckers apart with a sword in the right hand. Just stuff like that. That's what I'm thinking. I really want to try and see if that, if they, if their programming allows that. Because the way I find it in games like these, they're not strict per se, but they're literal. If it's got a restriction, they tend to describe it. We'll see. No luck. Silvando's pretty much a free hit. Go ahead and beat his ass, because he's 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 an immortal character, straight up. Alright, key thing, let's get let's get Dazzle thrown out there. That's the key thing I've learned here. Uh, yep, there's two that missed. Alright, let's use Zap. Yep, there's my damage. That's fine. Eric's the one that you... you like, I don't really mind if you beat the snot out of. That's fine. Burn the rest. Yeah. Straight up, that's the secret to the cactus balls. Dazzle. Now I'm probably gonna wanna like sit down, heal, rinse, repeat. It's just it's one of those things where it's like the golden globe enemies, from what I gather. They are the most powerful of the cactus balls, but from what I remember of that one pain in the ass fight I had. It gave me a lot of experience. You know what? How about I set the horse right here? Because a little bit of preemptive would be really nice right now. I can swear to God, I thought... Okay, about to say. There we go. Eh, it's not bad. Two cactus balls. Right, let's see if I can get a, one of them asleep ASAP. like hell, but here's the thing, if they can't see you, or they're tripping, then they can't hit you. So please do not tell me the the Golden Globe enemy was just like a one-time thing for for a quest. Otherwise, I'm gonna be a little bit upset. All right, let's get over here just so that way it's, everybody's spread out a little bit. Get you a good distance away. Now burn them. Get you over here. And we dazzle them. And you still managed to land that hit. Alright, how much? 
rank 31, blah, 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 blah. Seriously, I want to at least fight one more Golden Globe just to see how much experience it gives me. I'll try one more time, but if there's no luck, then oh well. We'll just continue the game. Give me the Golden Globe! And I don't mean the award. No luck. No, cat. Don't you dare start trying to snuggle me right now. You know when your snuggle time is, and it's not when I'm playing a game and recording. Essentially, my pet cat loves to snuggle me, and I'm not gonna, I'm not in the mood to have him snuggle me when I'm playing a video game. Because he loves to just be like, oh, hey, human, you're doing something on this thing over here with the big TV that's moving? Well, guess what? You need to snuggle me. Screw the big TV thing. You need to snuggle me now. That's how bad he is. He is very bad. And Veronica's dead. I don't even know when the fuck her health got that low. Not now, but let's go back, heal Veronica up, go continue the story. Let's rest until dawn. Save at the statue, get my horse and haul ass. Actually, let's. There we go. And I'm sorry, Veronica's getting replaced. Straight up, she keeps getting nuked so damn quickly. I'm not ashamed to admit, I'm tempted to replace Veronica with Silvando. Or Silvando, whatever the hell the name is. It's a fancy name. No, nope, that doesn't work. Okay. Let's get into a fight with a chimera, and it's like seven enemies. Yep. Like five dudes, straight up. <sighs> Good thing I saved. Because this is like, this is the kind of shit that's like, oh, hey, guess what? And like, game over, period. That is a statement. You got fucking duped. Ha 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 ha, you're an idiot. All right. Let's try to get rid of the Chimera as fast as possible. That's fine, target him. Eric, you're gonna focus on tossing out healing items left and right. Alright, Serena, guess what? You are gonna dazzle the Chimera. See, it's like, what, do they have a timer for this shit? That right there. That right there is what I can't fucking stand with these things. Alright, let's heal. Does, just keep your shit together. I'm seriously thinking she would have been better off if I went and had her go as a witch because then I'm thinking, okay, she may have been able to equip a fucking shield. Oh, yeah, hey, guess what? The other one's gonna be pepped up too, and hey, we're all gonna burn again. I'm gonna call it now. That is, unless I can wipe them out right fucking here. There we go. 
Now this bastard shouldn't even be that much of a problem. But here's the issue. Now I gotta run back, heal, then try this shit again. Cause I don't even want to think. What is there? Is there a camp on the way there? Cool. If there's a camp on the way there, then I'm just gonna continue. Yeah, but it's on the other side of it. Alright, well, you know, here, let's heal real quick, then we're just gonna, like, avoid everything until we get there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Alright, let's get going. I keep pressing the wrong button. I wonder if those races are something that you could do again. Directly to the Pernicious Peninsula. Alright. Hey, the Needlers. What did they turn into? Haystack Needler. Hmm. Yeah, creative. Bugging me. Alright. There, now they're dead. Um. Alright, well, let's make Eric go faster because he could just kill this thing now. Is this over here? That's an enemy. Do I dare? Yeah, fuck it, I dare. I'm not the smartest guy, but I don't know what this is. Oh, that's a Spitzfire. Oh. This is gonna hurt. Wow. This, like, straight up turned into a. I fucked up. Okay, never mind. Never mind, I'll take that. Um. I'll just do a great sword guard. And then we are just going to. What was the other one? Magic barrier. Enemy spells, that doesn't count. Um, let's use crack. Oh shit, I eat a I eat a paralyzed it. Nice. Worked again, nice. All right, we're gonna heal Eric. It's nice to know that's what a Spitzfire looks like. So I at least know what the other quest is, or what I gotta do to get to it. 
This note to self, it'll wipe out Serena in one hit. Alright, well, it's good to know that I know what a Spitzfire looks like. Because that's a quest I need to complete. I need to have... I need to have, uh... The wild side pep power be activated, which is where Eric is like super fucking strong and can attack twice in one turn. What the hell are you doing? Here from Sneefelheim. Really? Really? So, like, could that not be any more of a reference to Final Fantasy VII's Nibelheim? Alright. Sorry, didn't mean to talk to him again. Alright, so at least it's a good thing to note that the Spitzfire looked like that. What the hell is that thing over there? Y'all saw that moon emblem, right? Yo, a Doomberry! Seriously, I can't be tripping. I know I'm. I know I'm not the only one who saw the that uh, moon emblem, right? What the hell? Oh, dude, lamplight! Yes. Oh, I can make so many things now. Screw you. God, you're a fucking punk. <laughs> That's awesome. Come yes, you. thank you. Let's have a sit down and a nice chat, shall we? Thank you, Silvando. Oh my god. I love how much of it just like a calm smile. Yes. So, two boys and two girls out on a lovely adventure together, huh? How romantic. But what kind of adventure, I wonder. Come on, spill the beans. To be perfectly honest, we're none too sure ourselves just yet, but for the moment, we're trying to get to Yggdrasil. We need to understand more about the mystery surrounding the Luminary, you see. It's all to do with a horrible being called the Dark One. He wants to bring death and destruction to the world, and we want to stop him. All right, Big Mouth, that's enough! You don't need to tell the Jolly Jester a whole life story. We barely know him. <laughs> my, 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 my. So there's a dastardly villain coming to steal all the smiles and laughter from the world. And you four heroes are on a daring mission to stop him before it's too late. Oh, now that does sound fun. <laughs> You've got a strange idea of fun. Not as strange as one of my friends. The dude plays Dark Souls just for shits and giggles. What about you, Sylvando? What made you leave home and set out on the road? <laughs> oh, you don't want to hear my boring old stories. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Come on, kiddies. Betty buys. Hmm. <sighs> Full of mysteries. What's his deal? I think Silvando's issue is he just doesn't want to talk about it. That's the thing. And he's just he's too light-hearted to avoid it. To like be blunt or just be straightforward about it. Before we do that though. Okay, she is resurrected. Good. Now before we do that. Straight up. I got two things I need to make. What was the what was the Doomberry recipe? Wizard staff. 
lamp post. Magical mending plus eleven. Okay, plus eleven plus twelve plus thirteen plus fourteen. Let me see, what does she have now for magical mending? Magical mending thirteen. It'd be just one point better. I mean, to be honest, it's not that bad. Um, although I'm really tempted to go with this. I really am. And plus, it gives her the means of just continuously chucking fireballs if she runs out of mana. So she can never truly run out of attacks. It's just a straight benefit. Now, what was the other one? No. There's gotta be something else. Oasis water, that's not it. Um, was it the gloves? Yes, that's what it was. Straight up, just magical might and deafness, so... That would probably be good. You know what? Let's, let's give this a try. Let's give this a try, yep. Plus two. There. Got a wizard staff plus two. Oh, three perfectionist pearls for that. Nice. All right. Gloves. Enchantress's gloves. Yes. as perfect as I can fucking give you. I just, every time I hear that jingle, I'm just like, yes, make me feel like a badass. Alright, let's rework an item. We have the means of doing it. Does anything cost three? That I really want to use right now, which is not really. Um, four. You know what? Yeah, let's try that. Bronze armor and the trickster talisman. Actually, no, I might want to try to upgrade... Yeah, I think I'm going to screw it up. Alright, um... Wow, okay. That was pretty good, if I say so myself. Now, shit. All right. <sighs> yeah, that ain't gonna work. All right, let's up the trickster. Up all of the talismans. All right, flourishes.
Do I dare? Alright, what about now? Yes, cool, plus three. Been hitting the nail on the heads with these things. Kick fucking ass! Sorry. Trickster plus three. Alright, I think we're pretty much done with the foraging aspect. Um, let's see. Eric. Defense plus three. Charm plus ten. And evasion chance plus four percent. That's... That's about as good as I can hope for something like that. Yo, I could buy another Doomberry. I could buy an Oasis Water. Yo. Where was the shit when I needed it? Like a while back. Yes. Straight up, you gonna give me this stuff? Yeah, then we're gonna forge. Straight up, we need to full merge. Wands, lamp post, yes. Jesus. All right. Uh, son of a bitch. I don't have enough focus, so yeah, straight up, this is it. God damn it. All right. Well, at least it's a plus one, so hopefully it's a little better than what the hell she has. Let's see. Rework an item. Just give me a minute. Give me a minute. All right. Equip. Serena. It's still not better than what the hell you have. Son of a bitch. All right. We got to make something else so I can rework it and try to make it a little better. No. 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 All right. Well, what about armor? Um, nope. I just need another cotton tap to the tricky turban. So let me see if I can buy that from the guy. Are you selling cotton top? Hell no. Alright, well, let me sell something for you then. I'm not really using the iron broadsword, and I could just make another one. Alright, what else can I make then? Forge armor, clothes. Ah, fizzle retardant blouse. Yes, all right. go. Can I make anything else? Need another cotton top for that. Alright, well what about rework? Can I rework an item now? Lamp post? Yes, I can. Yes, we're going to try this again. I want to make it better than what the hell it is. The hell? Who the, who, who the hell? Oh, that's what the hell. Alright. Um, yeah, that's five for each. It'd be cheaper to do this. Uh, I stand corrected.
Yeah, that's it right there. Perfect. Get ready for the jingle. We gotta get ready for the jingle. There, I feel better. I don't know if y'all feel better, but I feel better. All right. Now let's equip all of this on everybody. Um, you. Wizard staff plus two. Yes. Jesus, I'd hate to get hit by that thing. All right, you are also going to replace your gold bracer with the Enchantress's gloves. That way your magic is just gonna be absolutely through the roof. All right, lamp post plus three, raise your magical healing. All right, that works. Um, The only other thing I'd work or try to work with is like reworking that to see if it makes if it ends up being better than what she's got. Um is there anything else that I mean? Yes. Right there. Her defense isn't gonna be the best, but I pray to God her magic is just gonna be absolutely fucking phenomenal. Um, what about you, man? Alright, nothing. You're gonna equip both. You're gonna have both of these equipped simply because just the more chance of you becoming like unkillable, the better I am off I am. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, I'm just quadruple checking, and this is a pretty good setup here. I'd like to think. Let me just double check. Let me see in my equipment bag. Yeah, not really anything else. Items, Serena. Let's just transfer that to the equipment bag. Veronica staff, transfer that to the equipment bag. Transfer Gemma's charm to the equipment bag. Alright. The majority of this video was more or less just like me upgrading my gear and everything, but either way, the next video will be going towards the, the Stalker of the Sands. Anyways, hope y'all enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, and tell your friends. Hit that little dingly dangly thing that lets you know when I have another video uploaded. And other than that, hope you have a great day. Fare thee well, and bye bye.